Hey, Matt, how are you? Catherine, Ron, good to see you guys. It's good to have the architect here when we're choosing paint colors, right? Matt, looks like you're a fan of uh, not using the small swatch for choosing paint color either, huh? Absolutely. So much better to see it on the actual house. That way you can get a, a full breadth of what the colors look like on the house itself in context with the house and its surroundings, which was definitely needed in such an urban setting as this. So we've got a Victorian house. Are we sticking with Victorian colors? Is that what you guys like? Yeah, we, we like those. All right. So what is a Victorian color? Well, uh, Victorian homes tended to have natural colors, colors that came from the earth, whether that's an olive color, a brownish color, right. or a color that may be derived from a flower of some sort, whether that's uh, a yellow or a red, as an example, which, interesting, we have two of those today. All right, and so what is the process um, in terms of choosing them? Are the homeowners telling you what they want? Are you telling them what they should be looking at? How does that work? That's certainly one of the uh, good starting points, but the, the idea is to create a process of elimination because right. there's so many colors. One of them is to simply ask the color, a client what their favorite colors are. Another way to go about it as part of the process is to simply take a look at the colors of the adjacent homes in your neighborhood or mm. immediately adjacent homes. The last thing you want to do is have two blue houses right next to each other. And, and so where did we start in this case? Did we start with the neighborhood or did we start with these guys' favorite colors? It's a little bit of a mix of both. They told uh. us the colors they really enjoyed. And then on the left-hand side, uh, the house is immediately adjacent. We have a light blue colored house. And the opposite side, we've got sort of a pinkish red house. So we wanted to avoid those colors. So uh, what are we looking at right here? So we have a, a base color here for the lower section of the clapboards, yep. and then we have two options for the shingles above. So halfway up this house, our siding switches from claps to shingles. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to use a lot of color, so yeah. that's a good place to break it up. Queen Anne's often had multiple base colors, and they were done in horizontal sections, even broken up with siding. So uh, Marat and Catherine's house has a wonderful first floor band of clapboards mm -hmm. and then a band of shingles and then a more decorative band of shingles at the upper level. So there's three bands. And we're thinking this deep, rich, maroonish red is certainly the clapboard section. And then the upper two sections of shingles might be a pinkish red or maybe a slightly deeper, rich red. How do you guys feel about the reds? Um, I love this color. This is one of my favorites. Um, to me, this looks very Victorian formal, elegant. Um, I don't like these two options as much. This is a little too orange. Uh, maybe this is a little bit too pink, but this is a great color. And Catherine, how do you feel about the reds? Well, I always like lighter colors. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know where this is going. I think it's going. been a challenge. <laughs> OK, well, we've got lighter colors over here. And obviously, we've got something in the lighter palette. Absolutely. This is a wonderful, deep yellow color. And again, this comes from nature as well. Uh, this would be the base color at the clapboard section. But we also have two other yellow colors that would be at the other horizontal bands. We have a medium yellow, which would be at the upper band of shingles. And then we have a lighter yellow color, which would be at the very, very uppermost banded shingled section of the roof, which is very decorative. So again, we've got these three tiers of yellows that really pull out the bands, the horizontal bands of a queen and home. And Catherine, how about those? Is that more sort of in the world that you were thinking? I really love them. Yellow is my favorite color. And, and do you like these here? I do. I like how there's a sort of a buttery, bright yellow on the top, and then something a little deeper on the bottom for interest. All right. Uh, does this mean we're at an impasse? I mean, you guys think you're in a position to decide? I mean, you need to uh, talk about it, well, see what's... I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I really like that color, but you seem to like the yellow better. I, you know that yellow is my favorite color for a house, though. So, Mariah, maybe a little piece of advice. Can I jump in? Sure. Do you want to concede now or you just want to concede later? <laughs> I think I'm going to concede now. Yay! <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Uh, and so, Matt, in terms of trim, I mean, if these are, in fact, going to be the body colors, mm -hmm. how do you handle the trim with this? Well, um, it, just in case Mariah conceded, then we came up with the trim color that might be dark and rich. For him. Right. And we were thinking maybe this blue would be just right for Murat and then also would work uh, in a very complimentary manner to the yellows for the home. You guys, what do you think? It's gorgeous. That's a beautiful yeah, color. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah. So how does this sound to you? I mean, does it always end up like this, this quick? Are they always on the same page? They did pretty good. They did for pretty good. For a married good. couple, they All did right, pretty good. good. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you guys can spend another minute or two with it, but Murat, no backsliding. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.